Team 12's Bram Resnick joins us now with some of the other political stories that are making headlines ahead of the big day tomorrow. And Bram, what do voters need to know? So much going on. There's news today on Governor Doug Ducey's whereabouts on Election Day, a court ruling on Cochise County's hand count. But we start with what you need to know about Maricopa County's ballot count. The first election results will be posted shortly after 8 p.m. Tuesday. Those will include all the early ballots returned before Sunday. It could represent more than half the total vote. Over the next several hours, Maricopa and the state's 14 other counties will update results from the ballots cast in person that day. But we won't have the final results on Tuesday night. Starting Wednesday, early ballots returned after Sunday, so-called late earlies, will be counted for the rest of the week. By Friday, Maricopa County elections officials say they expect to have 98% of all the ballots counted. And that is normal. Let's head down to southern Arizona's Cochise County, where a judge has blocked a full hand count of the general election ballots. The plan was pushed by Republican election deniers on the county board. The county's own lawyer said it was illegal. So where in the world is Republican Governor Doug Ducey? The two-term governor leaves office in early January, but he's been invisible during the general election campaign. That might not be surprising, given that Republican candidate for Governor Kerry Lake and others promote the falsehood that Arizona's 2020 vote, which Ducey certified, was stolen from Donald Trump. So will the governor be joining the Republican candidates at their election party Tuesday night? The word from Ducey's spokesman? Nothing planned at this time. In Phoenix, Bram Resnick, 12 News.